Yeah, I'll try that. Well, hello. Ah. Hello. Tim. Hello. How are we doing, everybody? All right. Cool. Yeah. Good. <laughs> check out, check out my backdrop. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> bit of bit of green screen movie magic for you. <laughs> I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna try and adjust this so it uh, <laughs> it works, but it doesn't give me much room. That's the only problem. How do you like it? Amazing! Yeah. Is this what we're going to come back to? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> There's not much room, though, in front. <laughs> okay. Hi, Dom. Hey, Dom. Check this out. He's in. Hey. I'm in space now. <laughs> I'm just trying to mirror to my TV one minute. Um, that's why it's not mirroring. I haven't got. Oh, fuck. Oh, where's my lead? Oh, fuck. I had all this. Sorry, that one. You're go. fighting it. <laughs> so then. Um, what do we have for today? What are people uh, wanting to do today? Uh. Yeah, Kung Fu. Yeah, we could do that. <laughs> Shall we just get started with a bit of a warm up? Yes. Yeah, two seconds and I will be right with you. Oh, I was engaged in a conversation and I thought I had everything set up. <laughs> Are you, are you going to operate from that cot there, Dom? Is that right? <laughs> is that your training pen? What's cot? that? Is that, tra is that your training out? pen? Yeah. <laughs> it's when I'm not, that's when I put It's just to make sure you stay within the marked out lines. Yeah. Keep, keep my uh, two metre radius. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's a little bit less. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's why. <laughs> Let's begin officially, shall we? I'm twisting. Let's have a little warm up. Has everybody here submitted a video as well for your first form? Not yet, no. Yeah, I've been meaning to. I just haven't got round to it yet. Okay, please do. Yeah, uh, to do no rush, but um, feel free to send that in. And because I've done a few already, and I think it's a really good, uh, really good idea. I've filmed, I've filmed myself about five times, but then I keep noticing things that I'm doing wrong, so I, so I think, well, I'll send one in better next time. Yeah, yeah. well, I think it's, it's working then, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, uh, yeah. funny. But you, you, well, as soon as you start videoing yourself, you do get very self-critical, and it does mean you, you're like, oh, no, that's not good enough, I'll do another one. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know it, you've done like 10 videos of yourself doing your first form. Yeah, well, it's the way, it's the way, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a way of improving. See, you, you look at yourself in a different way, don't you? you, when, you well, you're not looking at yourself. I don't, anyway, I'm doing it, aren't I? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, it forces you to look at yourself for a start, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, can you think out? Left. left. And right. And middle. Walking your feet out. Left, right, middle, and lunging to the side with your toe turned out, stretching down the inside of your leg, and then onto your toe, stretching down the front of your leg. <laughs> We've lost your dome. What's happened to your video? It's kind of turned itself off. I'm trying to sign it out. Because I plugged it into my TV and it's coming up with trust device. <laughs> <laughs> On Tito. 
Back to the middle, down to your left. And right. And middle. Walking in. Okay, left foot forward, swinging your left arm back. <laughs> Other way. Oh, run out of space here. <laughs> is this better or is the kitchen better? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I thought you were actually in the dog. Did you? <laughs> Other, <laughs> <for the side. laughs> so a bit of movie magic there. <laughs> we crawl the key. <laughs> yeah. Other way. Both arms backwards, forwards, and opposite directions. Change, and change. Okay, shoulders backwards, forwards, shrugs. And looking left and right, side to side, forward and back, circle, both ways, and feet, circling your feet, <laughs> one at a time. Um, <laughs> gotta use these jokes. <laughs> gotta use the bad jokes up. <laughs> so pointing, pointing your toe, pulling back, <laughs> turning out. What do you think of the new queen? <laughs> <laughs> turning in, circle. <laughs> Pull back. I'm sure you're cheating there, Tim. <laughs> hey? I'm sure you're cheating there. <laughs> <laughs> Never. I can't see your leg. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually sitting down on a beanbag. <laughs> <laughs> can't tell. And other side. Circle. Other way. Point. Full work. Turn out. Turn in. Circle. I think that might be somebody trying to get in actually. What have we got? No. Nope. Um, where we get to? So pulling your foot back. And up front. And feet together, circling your knees. Both ways. And bend and skip back. Hugging your knees. <laughs> and touching your toes. Okay, circling your hips. Richard, wonder where he was. Both ways. Hey Richard. And shake off. Hello. So I'm going to mute, unmute everybody. Make you're all unmuted. So if you want to say something, <laughs> made it. <laughs> I wonder what happened to you. What do you reckon yeah. to my new? Uh, what do you reckon to my new kitchen? Awesome. 
<laughs> Check this out, Richard. Check this out. Fantastic. I love it. <laughs> it's magic. It's movie magic. Oh, that is brilliant. <laughs> Although I've not got as much room as I normally do. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we're going to run through Sulim Dao. Sulim Tao. Um, uh, let's do some punches first, actually. Okay, so feet together. Yuji Kim Yun Ma. And we'll go through. Get as low as you can in your basic stance. Okay, uh, punching positions. Singles, one to each count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, threes, threes to each, three to each count. Ready? One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's no power in these, just nice and relaxed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fives. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, sevens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One again, and again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fives, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Threes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, pull back, close your stance. Uh, so Richard, you just missed earlier, just mentioned uh, um, for everybody to do the video of yourself doing Sulim Tao. Yeah. Uh, don't forget, send one in when you can. Yes, so uh, keep forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> I know, well, it's easy to put it off, isn't it? Especially if you don't like, like watching yourself on camera. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Right, I hate watching myself anyway. <laughs> and Mark was just saying, um, once you've videoed yourself once, you look at it back and you think, oh no, that's wrong, and then you, you do another one. So by the time you send it in, it's going to be perfect anyway, so. <laughs> I'll send him a thousandth one. <laughs> yeah. Do what I do. Well, I did mine when my brother was picking me up on Mother's Day to go up to my mum's, so if you give yourself a time limit, like you have to do it, because somebody's, you know, and then that's how I did mine. I just had, you know, that opportunity to do it and, yeah, when I got to my mum's. Good to have that bit of pressure as well, isn't it? Because if, if yeah. you've got an open time limit, maybe, yeah, I'll, maybe I'll set a time limit on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, get my brother to come pick you up. Yeah, get get Ben's brother to come pick you up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you for before he arrives. 
<laughs> okay, so let's go through Su Lin Bao. By the way, that was 500 punches. So if you're doing the um, punch challenge, that's one what you do every day for 30 days. Okay. Anybody doing that, incidentally? Yeah. Yeah? Um, yeah. Good. Good to hear. Okay, so get as low as you can get with this stance. So sink down as low as you can. Keep this center line check out in front of you. So common mistake is people are dropping this in or they're starting, starting lower and too close to the body and drawing it in. Keep this out in front of you, same distance apart. This is pointing to your hips. This is pointing to the shoulders. So again, it's like a marker, but so it's not just marking the center line, but also your target points and keeping this out in front of you. Okay. So left hand into center, punch, locking out, stretching your wrist. Right hand into center, punch, locking out, stretching the wrist. Okay, so we're gonna do this fairly slow. So let's just stick together, don't go any faster than me. And just slowly moving your tan south forward. How's everybody coping with the uh, lockdown? It's, all right. it's, 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 it's tough when the weather's like this, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, when the weather's nice, it's harder, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Got a little garden, I think, for those ones. Are you lucky you've got a garden? We don't have one. We've got a front yard and lots of neighbours. Where everybody's home. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a ten foot with a bit of grass in it, really. But uh. <laughs> right, that's something, I suppose. Mm. So it's got a field behind. It's nice. We've got a little park. We went out for a walk in the park today, which is helpful. Not killed on the land yet. Eh? Not killed on the land yet. Not killed. Want each other then yet? Not yet, no. It's time left yet though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, first fox now. Got 12 weeks or probably maybe longer. Yeah, longer. Yeah, I don't think it would be really factored that in the sort of the possible end of quite a lot of relationships. It's like, it's like holidays and things like that are really stressful anyway. I mean, but actually, if you've got any problems, this is really going to bring them out, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's uh, going to be a lot of change going on, isn't there? Yeah. What's that saying though? A common tragedy unites the most bitter of enemies. <laughs> <laughs> So even even partners will be all right after this. So <laughs> what are you saying? The divorce lawyers will be rubbing their hands together, won't they? Yeah. <laughs> In like six months time. Mm. What are we on? Second fox out? Yeah. And third and final fox out. Steve Miller. No. He knew. Hmm. Inside pack. Back to center. Straight palm, lock out, stretch in the wrist. Other side. Can you hear me, Steve? Still on mute, I think. No, he's... <laughs> Maybe not joined audio yet. He's trying to chat. He's put something in the chat. Right. I can't, I can't hear you, Tim, he says. 
So that concludes the uh, invisibility and dim Mac training. <laughs> I think Steve learnt it already. <laughs> yeah. Try and use your audio, Steve. I can't read that from here. He said, oh, no, no, not again. again. Oh, no, not again. <laughs> He's on the office PC. <laughs> You've missed invisibility again, Steve, but you seem to be quite adept at it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see your video. Are you deliberately hiding? He's on the office PC. I don't think they have a camera on his office PC um, by the sound of it. So what are we on? Second Fox Sound here? I think it's the first, isn't it? I'm not sure. I lost, I, I lost concentration by talking. <laughs> <laughs> Call it the first, then. So, second fox out. And third and final fox owl. Inside pack, straight palm, locking out, stretch. Stretch the wrist, second section. Left hand first, energy on the end. Striking with the heel. Left hand on top, fax out, right hand on top. Jump, tan, lap, you. And third section, outside pack. Side palm, locking out. Stretching the wrist. Outside pack. Side palm. Lock out. Stretching the wrist. Tansau. Gone. Scoop back into center. Into tan. Yun sao. Low palm. Locking out. Lift and stretch the wrist. <laughs> So tan, gan, scoop back into center, yun sao, keep the elbow where it is, low palm, locking out. So you should have a lock at the end of that palm. Palm, tan, palm, same applies, locking the elbow, stretching the wrist. Palm. Um, palm, lock out, stretch in the wrist. Gan sao. One, two, three. So I think I spotted something there, Dom, on that. I'll just go through, back through that again because I saw it on your video. So we'll go back through that last bit again. So gan into center. Back of the hand on the top of the forearm. One, two, three. And on the third one, what we should have is an open hand down here and a fist back here. And it's one, two, three. Drawing back on that third punch. Locking out and then stretching the wrist. So there's a lot of wrist stretches in there, so make sure you're using them. Um, so what I thought I'd do today is run through some of the little um, errors that I've spotted. That was amazing, Tim. Oh, we really need your voice, Steve. Sarcasm <laughs> doesn't carry as much on uh, chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm on Office PC. I quite like it this way. Yeah, do you prefer this? Quiet, Steve. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we, can you speak, Steve? Can we hear you? 
No mic. Have we got no mic, Steve? His name's Steve. No mic here. Oh, what about Steve, though? Is Steve there? <laughs> <laughs> well, Steve. Got... Steve, amazing. New guy. Steve, new guy. Yeah, new guy. <laughs> okay, well, we've got a quiet Steve then. All our prayers were answered. <laughs> <laughs> we can spend the rest of the session mocking you, Steve. You're amazing. <laughs> Feels up for that. Yeah, sorry, anyway. So, where was <laughs> So, um, yeah, a few things uh, that cropped up in the videos that people have sent. Um, first one to mention is obviously get that stance as low as you can. Often, um, this wasn't anybody in particular, but that's, that's often one of the first things is the stance isn't deep enough. So try and go a little bit deeper each time when you're drilling this, get as low as you can. That's gonna give you a real proper leg workout and help you sink, sink your stance and lower your energy. So you're gonna be harder to shift around and cheese out, harder to push and pull. Um, so that's number one. Center line check I mentioned already. This has happened a couple of times on videos. People are bringing this back to your body. So think, think more forward with this. Point your fingers towards your hips, hip level. There, point your fingers towards your shoulder level. Keep this out in front of you as if it were a tan sow position with that elbow fist distance away. So avoid folding this back in when you're doing your center line check. So this center line check, imagine a, a stick in between your wrists. That should be in the same um, parameter. So it's, imagine you, you're rotating up a stick, up a stick that's stuck into the ground. So for your center line check. And your left hand should be on top. That was in one of the videos, somebody had their right hand on top. Um, reason for that, I, I think is probably Chinese culture. I posted a, a, a thing about bowing, um, which was interesting. I don't know if you saw it, it's in the private Facebook group. Um, and what it said was this is a cultural thing and that men have the left hand on top and women actually have the opposite way around, which I didn't know. So that was quite interesting. Uh, have a read of that, that's in the... Uh, that's in the private Facebook group. Um, so center line check and then placement of the back fist, make sure that's distance, same distance away. Should be one to two fist distances, your back fist. So when we've got our punching position here, that back fist is what you're placing. It's the first thing you do after your center line check. You're placing that as a, as a, as a sort of a measure, if you like. So that wants to be here um, in that same position that it would be for your punches. So make sure it's not too close to you or too far away. Punching, again, make sure you train your punching range here. So you wouldn't be locking your elbow. So it's just slightly in off that locked elbow. So you should have a slight bend on it. At the end of your punching range, we do a lock and then the wrist stretch and that's because you wouldn't lock with a you wouldn't lock your arm with a punch because you're going to damage your elbow and you're only going to gain a tiny little bit of advantage and reach in fact hardly any at all so that first thing you do is you set up for your positions that's your back fist position that's your full-on range then you're locking then you're wrist stretching um one or two i saw there was a lot of even very slight but when when they're striking throwing the shoulder in so again, the whole of the first section is the first form is static. So we don't want to ever throw our shoulder on any strike. So avoid this because we want to become ambidextrous and we want to never overextend with one hand because we would have to step. So you're training your, your range and your distance and you're not throwing your shoulder on anything. So that was another little common error was um, the shoulder throw on, on techniques like this. Shoulder was going in to try and generate more power. Make sure you're not doing that. Remember, this is a blueprint. So any further away, you would take your body with you. Um, first section, this is a common one. This comes out forward, let the elbow drift out. So often people will struggle trying to keep that same elbow position in the Wu Sao as they have with the Fox Sao, but it doesn't work because it means you're gonna to have to put a lot of tension in. So allow the elbow to drift when you're going from a Wu Sao here, uh, sorry, a Fox Sao here, with the elbow in, coming around, letting your elbow drift out. Bringing it back, you wanna be going to your guard hand again, same position as your backhand position. 
few punches when we're coming back into our Wu Sao. Just check this range, don't bring it back too close to your body. Between one and two fist distances away, should be about the same position as your backhand punch would be if you had your basic punching position or your basic guard. Okay, so those are a few things from the first section. Um, second section, center line positions, that was one. In this, in this, um, oh, the outside, this outside pack was one of them. So, um, this first, the first inside pack is first section, and on the third section, it's out here. So, it's an outside pack. So, it's difficult to notice from a front position because it appears like it could be here at the shoulder, but it's actually further forward. So, on the third section, it's out here. On the first section, it's here. So that's inside pack and that's outside pack. So there is a difference between your two packs. So that was one of them. Um, keep that elbow in whilst you're doing your side palm. Make sure you've got a lock and a stretch after every strike. So you never want to lock your elbow on a strike. Always stretch out afterwards. Um, tan sal, this was another one. So this tan, the garn appears over the over the the thigh here. So if I can get further back, you might be able to see better. But this garn is coming over here. So it's to simulate a turn. So in the very end section, it's into center. But in this section, it comes out because we're simulating a turn. With a turn, it's still in center. Okay. So on this part of the third section, we've got Tan Thao, Garn Thao. In fact, everybody does this. And I can watch as people do it, and then we can we can go through, and then you're actually doing something. Um, so let's just drill. Let's go back right to the uh, beginning of the third section, and we'll do just outside pack. In fact, everybody turns sideways as well, and I can look at it sideways. So we've got outside pack, side palm, lock and stretch. Outside pack, side palm, lock and stretch. And just work through that. And just want to make sure that everybody's got this right. Outside pack, side palm, lock and stretch. And just keep running through that in your own time. Want to make sure this is right. Make sure you've got a lock after a lock and stretch after your side palm. So you're really working, working that wrist, working your shoulder. So they all look good, Mark. Um, the only thing I'd say is when you're doing the side palm, get your fingers right out. Okay. A little bit like a, a straight palm, which is the right. first. So that's like what we do in the first section. We've got a straight palm, elbow out. In the third section, we've got side palm, elbow in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Steve just asked if this was okay. <laughs> mine okay, Tim. <laughs> Amazing, Steve. <laughs> Silent Steve, still making us laugh. <laughs> I know. That's pretty good, Steve. Um, just put your trousers on. I don't know why you're naked. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that kind of party. <laughs> if people see your Facebook page, they're going to be like, what the hell is going on in that <laughs> Uh, we're going to have to make this private, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll take that out in the edits. <laughs> okay, so we'll jump forward to um, the second, the next bit of third section. So we've got Tan. Garn. So face the camera for this one. Face your laptops. So we've got Tan, Garn, Scooping Tan, Hyun, Low Palm, and Lock and Lift. And just work through that. Tan, Garn, Scooping Tan, Hyun, Low palm, lock and lift. You can just work through that in your own time. Tan, garn, scooping tan, yun, low palm, lock and lift. Um, so that's a, so Dom, make sure with that low palm, your fingertips are facing outwards. That way. Yes, but it's a low palm. That's so you're aiming the yeah, air lower down than that. That's it. 
when you're doing your hyun sound mark yeah so don't bring this elbow back i'm doing that okay yeah just right. just ever so slightly so we've got tan right. this is from the side tan gan right. tan hyun yeah mark. okay right I didn't realize i was doing that right okay yeah, just ever so slightly. Hang on, turn. That's it. So imagine when you're doing the hyun that you're moving something out of the way. Yeah. So keep that wrist there and you're moving something out of the way as you lower that hand and striking. Turn, hang on. That's good, Bill. Yeah. Is it the is it a down to side of the, when you when you, you strike at the bottom, or is it is it is it? it yeah, it, the the fingertips are turned out, but it's a strike into the centre of, of your partner. Think of strike yeah. to the yeah to the floating ribs or right. the plexus. Okay. So tongue, let's give it some just make sure your elbows forward, Richard, on that uh, Yun Sao. So that's good. That's good, Yun Sao. Uh, and yeah, just it's difficult to see because I can't see the side view. <laughs> Try and do it. Yeah, show me from the side. Wow. Yeah. So we've got Tan, Gan, Scoopy Tan, Yun Sao. Yeah, so just be careful your elbow doesn't move back. All oh, right, okay. Only fractional, but yeah, you can barely see it, but it's um, it's still coming. It looks like it's coming back just a little bit as you're loading that. So we want to make that decision <coughs> that it doesn't do that. So we're, we're advancing. Think of it as advancing forwards all the time, not retreating. Yeah. Thank you. All right. That's good, Ben. That's it, Dom. Yeah, fingertips out, Dom. That's it. So that's good, Mark. Yeah, much better. So also when we're doing this, uh, on that low guard, we should still have a bend on this elbow. So make sure you're not locking that arm. Yeah. As you come from tan to garn, we should still have a bend here. So that we're using this triangular st structure. So with a turn, we're using this against um, an attack. So if it's locked, we're not gonna have any structure behind it. It's, it's over the leg. It's on the leg, the, the arm, the side, of the leg, it's on this side, isn't it? Not on the opposite leg. Yes, yeah, yes, correct. The same leg, same arm. Yes. So it's over the, the, the upper thigh. Yeah. Looping back into centre. So more forward with that low palm, Ben. That's a little bit too downwards. That's better, yeah. Cool, so um, we'll go through uh, the last uh, next bit. So we've got, next we've got um, Bong, Tan, Palm, Lockout, and Stretch. So just running through that, Bong, Tan, Palm, Lockout, and Stretch. How's the um, palm on that one? Is it straight palm, straight down? Uh, this is an upside okay. down palm, so your fingertips are pointing downwards for this one. So then we will have covered all three. So first section is straight palm, second section is side palm, and then this one is upside down palm. Okay. And then stretch afterwards. So, so we have bong, then tan, hitting with the heel, then locking out at the end. So it's kind of four moves in this. So, That's really good, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could be doing anything right now, but I heard just, well. trusting that it's amazing. I heard that there's a, um, uh, Mark said that there's a move called that translates as the jerking and I think he's practicing that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tim. That means a lot from you. <laughs> what, Steve, what do you think of the new Queen? Mm. 
Not a lot. <laughs> Probably not. So yeah, make sure you're keeping your shoulder square, Dom. You're throwing your shoulder there. Yeah. So remember that. So this is why a mirror is useful. Um, even from the side, if you're drilling it from the side, avoid throwing that shoulder. You'll be tempted to do it to try and gain either reach or power. Um, but remember, we don't, we're not doing that because this is your, it's your blueprint of your hand positions. We're not including the, the movement of the body in this. Bone, turn, palm, up on shoulder a little bit there. And then, and then lock out. Yeah, lock out at the end. Bone, turn, palm, stretch. Good, yeah, that's it. Bone, turn, palm. So yeah, make sure after your palm strike, you've got, you've still got some movement to lock out your elbow. Just so you're reminding yourself of your range and not to lock your elbow on a strike. <laughs> it's amazing. Steve says it's amazing. <laughs> Hi, it's Steve. You've changed his name. Okay, good. Um, they look good. So we'll go to the next bit, which is uh, Garn Sao section. So starting with left Garn Sao position. So these are in center. So we're going to place the back of your hand on the top of your forearm, sliding down with a bit of pressure and twisting at the end. So we've got both hands twisting at the point of impact. Up, back up through guard, place on the top. So make sure, Dom, you're not locking that arm straight. So go back to the start. So here we've got a bent elbow here. Place, sliding down, twisting both hands at the point of impact. One. And then place, sliding down, twist, two, place, three. Then we've got a fist and an open hand on the third one. So we should have a gun with the left and a fist with the right. And then we've got punch. Oh, fist with the right, sorry. Yeah, well, I'm doing it mirrored. Sorry, uh, no, so I'm confusing you. Fist with your left. <laughs> yeah. So we've got punch, punch, and drawing back on the last punch. Locking out, stretching. So just run through that as a drill. Um, try doing both sides as well. So do it so you train in both sides. So now we've got the opposite side. One, two. Three, one, two, three. What okay. question, by the way, on chat? You know what I think, Tim? It's amazing. Tim, I have a question. Is the hand staying the same angle as arm or level with the floor? I thought it was level with the floor. Is the hand staying the same angle? Um, not sure what you mean. I think it means that the open hand on the gun as the other ones in the fist. The open hand of the gun is it the same as how it is when you do the move down the arm? All right, okay. So the hand. I think. Yeah, uh, same angle. So I think of a gun south striking. So the the hand is um, in the same plane as the forearm. Yeah, I mean it might you might see it being done. I might have been a bit lazy and done it and relaxed that hand. But no, it should it should definitely be in the same plane as the uh, as the arm because you're cutting down like this with a turn. So that this is to represent a turn, a turning low garn sow. So with the turn, this stays in centre, but in the form, no, actually, <laughs> scratch that. It's it's in centre line. I'm talking about another section there. So this is striking into centre. So if we just did both hands equally, they would be striking down from guard and position into centre into center but we want that friction between the two of them so you should hear that slide each time and both hands should twist on impact so one is twisting one way the other is twisting the other to generate more power either to get a hand off you or to recover the backhand where you're going to be getting trapped 
So just drill that in your own time and I'll have a look. Uh, yes, the palm position can change, Steve. Um, it just depends what it's for. So against a against low uh, kick or uh, uppercut, it would be like this. Against, um, well, we, we, yeah, that's another technique, so that would be a gun. So this is a garn, as in um, striking a garn sow, splitting block. Uh, gum sow, second form, is slightly different against the kick. So you're probably thinking of a gum sow maybe, um, which is off chum cue, and we're defending against the kick with that. On that last punch, as my hand comes back to uh, the, my chest, yeah, am I punching at the same time that that's coming back? So it's kind of like yes. as you punch forwards. Yeah, so you got one, then one, two, three, then one two three so this is counteracting your punch if you like yeah try not to throw your shoulders bill <laughs> oh. uh, um, make sure it's the top of your hat so you're placing your hand like that which means you've got less rotation left so when you place when you place your hand place the back of your hand on the top of your forearm that way when you twist you've got a huge amount more rotation there so if you just placed like that then you'd only have half a rotation if you place like that you can generate more power with that rotation at the end so yeah, so when you're placing your hand, put the back of your hand on the top of your forearm. That's it. Um, do you see the way Richard did it then? No. That's what I meant. <laughs> All right, yeah, so uh, I see what you mean. So, yeah, um, so this is a good question from Steve. So, Garn Sow, he's, he's looking at your position there, Richard, and your hand's parallel to the floor. Um, uh -huh. It's really a, a, a gum, a gum sow. Um, so, yeah, in a Garn Sow position, we're cutting down, striking like this. So the hand really should be flush with the forearm in the same direction. A gum sow is different because we're using the palm to deflect, um, not the forearm. So, so yeah, small distinction there would be in this part of the form and in your garn sow position, that's the position of your garn sow hand. And with a gum, you might be pinning. So a gum is pinning, garn is splitting blocks. So garn is, will be more like that. And a gum might be using, you might be using the hand a little bit flatter. Does that make sense? Thanks, Matt. Can you hear that? Steve was asking about that. Um, cool. So, um, so then we've we've got then one, two, three, one, two, three. So punches. Last thing we do. So let's just run through punches. But I want everybody to turn sideways onto the computers and just run through punches. Um, watch yourself in your camera. Make sure that back fist is coming back up level with your elbow. So it gives you your position for your traditional guard and your punching position. And your backhand wants to be where you're placing it at the very beginning of your form. So we're drawing that backhand back level with your elbow. That's it. You might need to drop that front hand a little bit more, Dom, just to make that clearance to punch straight through. Can you come near the camera, Ben? Can't quite see you there. <laughs> My head's missing now, but... <laughs> so I'll try and use a bit more reach there, Mark. That's good, Ben, yeah. Try and drop that front hand more a bit, uh, Bill, as well. 
So just to exaggerate this, think of dropping this down, striking, dropping it, striking. So what you don't want is, is to be scooching around the side, which is what will happen if you don't drop that enough, because you'll be forced to try and take a different route because this will get in the way. So just exaggerate just for a few minutes, that front hand drop. So you've got a drop and a strike, a drop and a strike, drop and a strike. Say again. Somebody saying something then? I think Don's just dropped out. All right. Just there, uh, it broke up a bit. So, Mark, you've got um, your hands aren't working in unison. So, you've Thank kind you. of got the punch flying out, but this is then moving back. So, you've got the punch flying out, and then this is moving back. So what you want with this is, is almost that, that uh, backhand to counteract the force of this coming forward. So as you strike forward, this wants to almost counteract the momentum. So we've got okay. this is drawing back at the same time this is coming forward. What you were doing was punching and then drawing back secondary. So you're going, you were going punch and then this was coming back, but they weren't doing it in unison, if you see what I mean. Okay, right. All right, nice. So try and think of your backhand coming back as a as a sort of a lever to counteract the forward force of your other punch. That's better, yeah. So you've got one hand forward, one hand back at the same moving at the same time. We've lost uh, we've lost Dom. Coronation Street's on. <laughs> <laughs> So Ben, keep your back fist forward a little bit more. Uh, yeah, it seems to be coming back a little bit too far. Steve, that's that's good. Just put your pants on. <laughs> What's with the silly hat, Steve? That's an image I'll never get out of my head. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> You're welcome. Put that whipped cream down, Steve, and get on with the punches. <laughs> <bushes. laughs> There's another image for you. Dom's back. Whips and chains. We call the RSPCA. What? Did somebody call the RSPCA? For, for Steve? Yeah. <laughs> we didn't know we can. Okay, cool. Let's uh, take a little break there. So we've gone through... Um, <laughs> sorry, I misheard. I'll start punches now. <laughs> Too late, Steve. We finished. Finished that one. Uh, what we haven't done is second section. So uh, quite a few little things came up in second section as well. Um, just watching these videos. Uh, so yeah, do send your videos in if you haven't already. Um, um, because then we're going to move on to Chum Q videos as well. We can have a look at Chum Q then in a bit more detail. So the, the, uh, the other things that came up were second section. So um, I'll go through second section and just kind of highlight a couple of the problems um, with it. So uh, if you want to just watch this one and then um, I'll just talk through some of the things. So explosive energy at the end of this technique. So this is going straight down, energy on the end, again don't lock your elbow, same on the other side, energy on the end. Pull up first before you come round, when we're going round to the back we're striking with the heel. So we're kind of flexing the wrists here bringing the, the fingertips back so that we're striking with the heel of the palm. Then it's back to your body, round to the front. And, and as you get round to the front, get your fingertips up. <laughs> Avoid them getting your thumbs stuck in your pockets, which is a danger of these hoodies. <laughs> okay. Again, striking forwards with the heel, keeping the fingertips back, left hand on top. 
facts out. This is to your peripheral vision. So this was a common mistake was people were just locking their arms out, throwing their hands back. Make sure this is within your vision. So you should at this point at the full reach, uh, be able to see both your hands in your peripheral vision looking directly forwards. And coming back right on top, this is jump sow, sinking, elbow. Get the elbows in as much as you can and dropping them down. So from here to here, the left hand folds behind and then we're dropping the whole of the forearm sinking. Energy on the tan, energy on the lap. So the lap, when we're doing this from the side, we've got fax sow. We've got jump, look at the elbow position, tan, lap. Doesn't have to be anything more than that. So we definitely don't want to bring him all the way back here and get the elbows by the body. <coughs> we want the elbows forward. So we've got jump, tan, lap, and that's all. Just those three punches of energy. Jump, tan, lap, view. So section two is, is about punching energy and redirecting. Um, but that little portion as well from there, we're keeping the whole of this forearm straight, so we're not bending the wrist until the end where we're doing this range finder. And when you're doing this um, range check, you're not gonna come down this far because then you would be losing your range. So think again, think of hips, shoulders, all the way down, all the way up at the end. And again, that wrist stretch, really use these wrist stretches because they're all over the first form and there's a reason. Obviously, we wanna get our wrists nice and supple um, and strong so we can generate that explosive energy. So um, yeah, just run through, let's just run through it together and then I'll get you running through it and I'll just have a little look and we'll see. So, so let's go through this together. So the second section of Su Ling Tao, I'll do it mirrored. So this is your left. So relaxed, energy, switch off. Relaxed, energy, switch off. Hands up, round to the back, double palm strike behind, back to your body. Round, fingertips facing up, palm strike in front, left hand on top, back sow, right hand on top, jump, tan, lap, view, all the way down, all the way up. Wrist stretch, squeeze, relax, and pull back. Okay, and then just go back and start running through that again. I'm just going to have a look at these while you're running through this. See if I can spot anything. So Dom, first thing, get your fingertips back when you're doing those palms and make sure you're hugging your body with your hands. Your wrists are hugging. Imagine you're in a bear hug. And you've got to get your hands around and out so you don't have the space to leave a gap. So Mark, on the jump, uh, from here, Drop, really drop those elbows in. Imagine you're getting punched, someone's punching you straight down the center. So you're dropping in to catch that punch. Okay. Your elbows are a little bit wide. Okay, okay. No, That's good, Bill. Same thing, Ben. Your hands are a bit wide of your body on all that section, so keep them nice and tight. So that view strike, Richard, is straight for your eye height. So think of just striking straight in your own eye, eye level. It's hard to see with the camera, but it looked like it was going up. Right, okay. So yeah, just, um, yeah, think of that as a, that is an eye strike. Think of it as an eye strike to your own eye level. Right, okay. That's good, Mark. Use your full range on that view. Otherwise, it's really good. Looked a bit tight, so the view, I'm, I'm, I'm almost fully locked out there on my view strike. Right. Okay. 
use those wrist, wrist stretches, Dom. So on the end, after we've done lap view, all the way down, all the way up, rotate your hands all the way around as far as you can get them. Close from your little fingers, squeeze and relax and pull back. So every time we do a wrist stretch exercise in the form, you should be working your wrists as hard as you can. That's the exercises at the end of the movement, not the ones in your first form. That should be soft and relaxed. So there, Ben, on behind you. Um, make sure that rear strike, keep your hands together, keep your heels. That you're striking with the heel, that's better. The heel of your palm. Dom, that strike you just did. Fingers back and you, you imagine a, like a sidekick or something. So you're striking with the heels, the heels of your palm directly forwards with your fingertips pulled back. I didn't hear any of that. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're too far away from your mic, Dom. Yeah, I think it's my camera, the way it's angled. It's, oh, um, right, yeah. Blaming the tools. <laughs> 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 If I bring it down, it might, might, might make it a little bit easier <laughs> to, to see it better. Cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I might be wrong, um, but it looked like your, your fingertips weren't back. That's better, yeah. And then striking forwards from there. Yeah, that's it. Good. Yeah. Um, Keep your elbows away from your dom. So that looks a bit close to me. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Yeah. So turn, lap, you. That's it. So when you're doing your lap, obviously I can't see because it's straight on. But when you're doing your lap, yeah. try and make sure you've got an elbow fist distance away. So you're not lapping like this for bringing your elbows into your body. So keep that elbow distance away when you're doing your lap. So after we've done our fax owls and then our jump and our tan, that's our lap. And that's all. We don't want to lose this. We don't want to lose this position. So definitely don't bring them back here. As much as you can, keep your elbows forward of your body. And you're going to keep this, uh, keep this shape. Okay, well, um, that's cool. So we've gone through in a bit of detail there. First form, hopefully that's helpful. Has anybody got any questions? Uh, no, that's good. That was good. That was helpful. Yeah, really, yeah. There's a few bits I didn't realise I was doing wrong. Yeah, so I think that's probably the best way to use these video calls is, is the yeah. detail because obviously we can't link arms, we can't practice techniques with each other. Um, I don't know how many people have got dummies in their houses. I, was, I bought a ring. I don't know whether I just I bought a ring because I thought it'd be, you know. What you do in the bedroom is. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um, for a video, it looked like you could use it in a similar way you can use a dummy for keeping your arms in position. Yeah, I, I've never used that myself. Um, maybe have a look on YouTube, see how you can use it. Yeah, yeah. Might be able to. Yeah. So I put a few clips on there, and it looked like yeah, I thought I'd give it a go. It's meant to keep your arms in the right position and keep the tension. Yeah, I think for, for, for rolling positions, uh, it can be useful and, and yeah, garn sound, quun sound, stuff like that. So you might be able to use it. Yeah. Cool. Um, has anybody got any questions about anything? Um, obviously, we can run a little bit over if people want to stick about and go through some stuff, or we can call it there. We originally, it was a plan for an hour. We've gone over by five. So we can call it there if you like and uh, reconvene on Thursday. We'll do this as a weekly thing. So um, get your videos over to me and I can iron out any problems. And then once I've seen everybody's Sulin Tao videos, we can run through some Chum Q videos and we'll, then we'll do, we can make another week on Chum Q 
and kind of go from there and like work our way through the forms. Yeah. How long would you say it take to sort of get to learn the first three forms or the second form? The first three forms? Yeah, to feel like confident because obviously the first forms taken me about eight, nine months before I can feel like I can do it all confidently without. Yeah, well, I think it's, it's just a constant improvement, Ben. I think, uh, you know, once you've got the basic outline of the first form, it's then understanding what it means and, and you know, tweaking it. Um, but I reckon, you know, you, you could probably go through all three and learn them to a basic level within a few months, you know. Um, depends how much time you, you, you can ded dedicate towards it. I mean, you can, even from videos, you can learn quite a lot. But then it's learning about what the moves mean and, and the depth of knowledge that's important, really. And that's right, kind of yes. what we can delve into. My, my problem with the, um, the the second one is the uh, you've got like you, you're kind of looking at the camera while you're trying to do it yeah. with your head to the sides, and that's the that's a tricky bit when you when you're doing the the sideways bit. I'm struggling with that when you because I'm trying to see what I'm doing, but I'm also trying to copy one. You know, so, so what's on going on the camp on the video? It's 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 hard to without moving it around. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, because because you're kind of looking in the video and. Uh, you, that means you can't yeah. go on the direction of, of what your form is, yeah. One of the things that I found um, the easiest way to learn the material was to do it in the three different sections. So learn one section, which you can go with that first section, then move on to the second section. Yeah. Once that, move on to the third. Just like how the um, similar tab is well, the same thing, and then five things, I think. Yeah. Do the same again with the two, and it's much easier. And I tried learning it from beginning to end. I was, I was having difficulty with it in the head, but then it was the two weeks of breaking it up. Yeah, definitely. You're definitely, you're definitely right, Dom. Um, breaking it down into small, manageable steps is is best best way to do anything. Um, and they're quite, you know, there's a lot of information in these forms, so it is just like one bit at a time is the best way to do it. And if you're finding that the video you you're looking to the site, drill it without, drill it without a video, or without a mirror, and then yeah, focus on what you need to be doing rather than look trying to look in the in the mirror on the video. So yeah, don't get too distracted by these tools uh, that are supposed to help because they can distract you. Yeah, I, I guess it's just it's trying to see because that um, it, it, well, it's just trying to learn the ba learn the basics without that. But while you do while you're doing it, it's hard to yeah. I guess it's you've got to watch it and then try and do it rather than watch it while you're doing it. I think that's just the way to do it. Like, so, but you see, it is a lot easier if you do it in, in small sections. I've just been trying to do the first bit. Yeah, and don't be too self-critical because, you know, um, you you might drill a few things and they might be slightly out for a bit, but, you know, then you, that's going to help you learn the pattern. And then it's like, you know, sessions like this is going to help you think, all oh, right, that's not quite right. And then you can tweak it as you go yeah. along. But you mean, you know, the first form, it's just then, it's just a process of tweaking once you understand the basic layout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Cool. cool. I think more. Just looking at the chat. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I misheard. I'll start punches now. Why do tall people look like dwarves when standing in swimming pools? <laughs> don't know. Don't know. I don't know, uh, Steve. Is that a joke? Six out of seven dwarves isn't happy. <laughs> He's still there, Steve. <clears throat> Steve's gone MIA. <laughs> right, well, I'll... I'll wrap it up there then, guys, if, uh, if, if there's no yeah. more questions. Um, that's some stuff to work on. Keep drilling your forms. Um, go through the, the Facebook members, uh, private members area as well. I'll put some stuff, uh, I put some <laughs> stuff in there. <laughs> He's laughing maniacally to himself. <laughs> it's Steve from I'm Amazing. It's Steve, <laughs> new guy. I was here. I was replying to a private chat. <laughs> Has everybody seen Steve's name before we go? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so true.
Well, we'll do this. I thought this was quite uh, useful. So we'll do yeah. um, we'll do this every week on a Thursday, just the seniors. Um, and then we can crack on with some other stuff. And if you've got some ideas about stuff you want to go through, obviously forms seem like the most obvious thing to, to cover in detail. Um, yeah. but if there's anything else you can think of that we can do on video, then uh, give us a shout. And I, I shall see you Thursday. Okay. So, Cheers. Sam, thank you very much. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Thanks a lot. See everyone. See you later, guys. Yeah. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Beer time. Beer time. <laughs> Miller time, Steve. Good Tuesday. Miller time. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. See you later. Good night. Good night. See you later, guys. <laughs> Signing out. Peace. Peace, brothers. <laughs> Layers.